Hello everybody! I am so excited to be sharing this haul with you. I did a small town citywide rummage shop with me uh, just last time so check that out if you haven't seen it and this is the haul that goes with it. I, I found some great cottage decor pieces. Um, I love the citywide. Our small town seems to have some great pieces, so I hope you're looking forward to seeing what I found. Okay, first place we stopped was amazing. There were so many things that said free on them. So I found this little wooden stool. It says plain, plain white tees. So it's a band, I think. But I thought that was still a really cute stool to have for decor for my daughter to use to step up on the bathroom to the sink and why not when it is free so what a fun find that was at that same place this vintage plate it had no markings on the bottom was free as well but I have one similar to it and I just thought oh my goodness this is so pretty I would love to hang it on my wall somewhere use it as decor it probably won't serve on it just because it's I don't, maybe I would. Is it okay to turn on it when it looks this worn? Would people feel offended? Um, anyways, I just thought that was really fun because it is free. Just two random buckets to, I thought, collect like outdoor toys in, to put in the garage, to organize some of my daughter's stuff. They were free as well. So why not to snag some free storage bins? Right then, I was just trying to think ahead a little bit. I found this cute fall pumpkin welcome sign it has it looks like they spray painted it or something I don't know if they did it themselves but it was 50 cents it has a hook on the back and I just thought this would be really cute for fall decor all their shirts were 25 cents so I just found this um, light and airy button down I thought it'd be nice for a cooler evening or nursing because button downs are great so 25 cents for this white and I think it's black the brand is girl crazy um, I thought that would be just really handy to have around okay this basket was a dollar and I don't know exactly what I'm gonna use it for but ah, I love baskets I just absolutely love baskets so it's pretty sturdy it has handles um, good solid bottom like I said, I just, it has some cute detailing. I can't pass up a pretty decent looking basket for a dollar. Okay, on the theme of baskets, this was just a different find, but I was so excited. It was $3. It's really big. Okay, this giant basket, I'll just insert a clip, was $3. It has a lid on it, a hinge, um, a solid bottom. I thought for a little fixer upper cottage, it would be super cute to store blankets in uh, at the end of the bed or side of the bed because I haven't found a chest yet that I am able to get or that is a reasonable amount. So this basket, it kind of looks oriental a little bit like you see in some of those movies, but I thought it's still really cute. And for $3, I could not pass that up. At that same garage sale, they have these measuring cups, and I thought I could go over to our little fixer upper um, that's going to be an Airbnb if you don't know that. So I thought this was really fun too that there's a two cup measuring cup that was a dollar for the set. So I thought, okay, I better pick that up just because it's, it's kind of fun. Oh, and an eighth cup. Like, I just have never seen that many pieces in dry ingredient measuring cups. Okay, at that, again, same garage sale. They didn't have these marked, but they are so beautiful, and I didn't want them all, but she was gonna charge 25 cents per piece, or I could get the whole thing for $2, and there are like eight to 10 pieces, so I thought I might as well get the whole thing. It's just got some beautiful floral pattern in there. There's little, like, little bowls, bigger soup bowls. Uh, the brand is Cunningham and Pickett, hand decorated Stratford Alliance Ohio so just super adorable and cute there's some that are chippy some look like oh there's a couple that actually don't belong um, there's a couple extra stamps on a few of them so I'm not exactly sure oh here's one just one random one oh this is from England <laughs> 
but just one random one in there. I didn't really look at the whole stack. I just picked it up and took it because $2 for these really adorable vintage plates was a good steal. Okay, and another garage sale. I found two of these size Crocs and I got them both for $5. So someone had offered way too low and I said, I'll take them for two a piece. Um, and then we agreed on $5 because Crocs are expensive. And I felt bad the other lady would only pay 25 cents for a Croc. So I'm like, I'll pay you $2 a piece. And he decided just to go with five. And I said, I can do five, that's fine. But they're in like this one, I would actually feel very comfortable putting food in. It's really cute. Um, very good quality looking and I thought why not to pick those up when they are so affordable. Alright, these two baskets, um, one says three on it and one says two. I got them both for three dollars as a pair. This one, they're both the planter style, they have the plastic liner on the inside. This one's a little flimsier but I plan to use it for a pot that I already have a plant in for inside. And then this one I'm going to take the liner out and use it as a trash can in our bedroom. So $3 for the pair, probably a little more than I really wanted to pay, but I kind of like baskets. Like you know, I, I have a fetish for baskets, I suppose. All right, then this galvanized bucket, which is nice and large, and as many of you know, I love using it in outdoor decor as pots, planters, using it inside my home too. This was $5, so I definitely could not pass up a $5 galvanized bucket. Okay, last thing is the set of uh, creamer and sugar copper set. It was for a dollar, and I just thought it was really cute and adorable and copper. Again, you can't go wrong with copper. So the brand is um, Copper Craft Guild, Taunton, Massachusetts. So I love all these American, man American made things that I found. Anyways, that is my haul if you haven't seen the thrift with me or rummage with me in our small town. Check that video out and I hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day and you can get out and enjoy some rummaging in your area. Alright, love you guys. Bye.